Well, hello everybody and welcome to the call today where we're going to be talking about how to treat people with love and never make them feel like a number. My name is Joanne Barmettler. I am a sales coordinator. I've been with the Juice Plus company uh, for way too many years. <laughs> and I say that just because I, I'm, I'm finally starting to get to where I want to be. So I'm getting there. It's just taken me a little while. But I've been with the Juice Plus company since 2004. Absolutely love everything that Juice Plus has to stand for and really received healing in my own body through um, the help with Juice Plus and many people who I met through that community so which is an amazing community and I'm, and I feel like as being a registered nurse I feel like I have learned more through the juice plus community than I ever did in nursing school so to me that says a lot about the people that I've met and have been with so all right so I just wanted to see a show of hands real quick how many people have ever felt like you were just a number when you got an invite over Facebook or by a text or anybody okay so you kind of know that feeling of like, you know, out of the blue, you haven't talked to this person for a year and all of a sudden you get an invite by this person and you're thinking, wow, I haven't even talked to them for a year. I don't even know like what's up in their life. So, and that's what we're going to talk about today because we never want to make anybody feel like a number. The first thing um, I think it's most important and I, and Everything I'm training on today is really from um, Eric from Teamsy, who created Tim, Teamsy. Uh, I just loved his boot camp that I did. I've learned so much, and it really has changed my business. And I really just loved his trainings because it just made sense and clicked with me right away. So he says that the first thing that we need to know is that we're in the relationship business. So we're not necessarily in the health business, we're in the relationship business. We're all about building relationships. Um, there was a book written a while ago, it was called Go For No. And I don't know how many of you read that book, but I did. Um, and I like how Eric kind of talked about that. He said, when, it, when you get the go for no mentality, it becomes impersonable. So you're no longer personable and about building that relationship, you're just about getting that no or hopefully a yes, right? We all want those yeses. Um, so it, there's no feelings attached to it when we have the go for no mentality. And it feels more like a game. So it can become kind of self-centered because we're all about just going out to get, you know, 100 no's and hopefully we'll get 10 yeses maybe out of that. Um, Another thing it can cause a problem with, it can damage relationships. Because if we're not being personable, then we're not building a relationship, then we're kind of treating them like a number. We're not kind of, we are treating them like a number. So, um, and that's really the last thing that we want to do. We don't want to break or damage any relationships. Um, we, we really want to be able to focus on the relationship and how we can assist in that relationship. So, it also, going for no mentality, can give our business a bad rap. So, and I think that, you know, a lot, I'm sure every single one of us on this call have ran into somebody and saying, oh, are you one of those pyramid scheme people or network marketing people? And that's because it does. It does give a bad rap if we're just looking to build our business and getting all the yeses that we can, not even worrying about the relationship. And that's what does give this business a bad reputation. And we're not like that. We are honestly in the business for building relationships. And if you're not, I suggest that you get out of the business because this, this probably isn't the business for you. So um, Eric from Teams, he says, people will say they have gone through their warm market but he says that's impossible. That's like saying you've gone through your family and you have no family left. And that really made an impact upon me because I never want, I love my family and I'm very close to my family. And I never want my family to feel like I'm using them or that they're just a number to me. And so I sure don't want to, my friends or new relationships that I'm making, I, I don't want them ever to feel like a number. So, um, so we're going to talk about leading with love and some people can think, Oh my gosh, that's, that's such a, such a slow approach. And, and that's just a, you know, a loser's approach to it. No, it's not. It's actually the winning approach. And I think that we can all agree that anything that we've ever heard, if you've um, 
go to any network marketing events or you're in any, any business groups, they always talk about building the relationship and, and really building that relationship before you're going to get a sell. So, um, okay. So when we focus on others, what happens is we take the focus off of the end result, which is, we're, of course, we're all looking to help people, to help people, you know, educate them about Juice Plus and give them enough education so they, they can make an educated decision. And so it takes that focus off the end, uh, end result of that, and it's building the relationship. And it seems so much more natural. I don't know about you, but it does for me. Um, it builds trust in your relationships, and it takes the relationship to deeper levels. So I love how he gives examples about just reaching out to somebody. Like, I haven't talked to Lynn for a year, and all of a sudden I'm gonna send Lynn a message, and I'm gonna say, hey Lynn, I was just thinking about you. I hope that, how are you? I hope your day is awesome. You know what, did I, did I say, hey Lynn, I'm having a Juice Plus event in your area, I really want you to come. No, I'm just checking up on Lynn. I was thinking about him, and so I wanted to let him know that I was thinking about him. So. Another thing that Leading with Love also does, it builds your re reputation as a professional in this business. Um, and so be people begin to see you as the expert in the field. So you would be surprised how many people are actually watching your Facebook for everybody who has Facebook. They're watching, they're watching you, they're watching what you're all about. And I have had that so many times where I've reached out to somebody. Like Lynn, I haven't talked to Lynn for years. So I reached out to him, I sent him that little message. And um, this actually did happen with a guy that I went to high school with, hadn't seen or talked to him for 30 years. But I, he really did cross my mind. I wanted to let him know that I was thinking about him. And he reached back and said, I love following you on Facebook and all the things that you do and the way you stand for health. And I just about fell over, because I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to this guy for 30 years. And here he's following me on Facebook. So I got into a conversation with him, nothing about Juice Plus. We talked about family, we talked about kids. He used to be a really big bodybuilder uh, in high school. I asked him about that. He mentioned, I know that you are really into health. And then eventually there came up a time for me to talk about Juice Plus. But I'll talk about that a little bit in just a little bit. So, um, when you're leading with love, um, you're investing in that relationship. And I really like that word investing. So because it's, it, to me, it's deep hearted when we're investing in a relationship. And so it's important that we also make that person feel special and not just that number. So when we lead with love, it is not being passive, which some people may think it might be. Um, we're not just sitting around waiting for something to happen like, oh man, I hope, uh, hope Ron reaches me out and orders Juice Plus. Dang it, you know, I see he's got some things going on in his Facebook. Maybe he needs Juice Plus. He should just call me. Well, we're not doing that. We're just not waiting. They're miraculously, miraculously hoping something will happen. And then therefore, we're no longer insecure in our relationships. And so because we care about them and we're leading with love, we're going to share with them because we care. So, and how do we do that? So I see that Ron had been going through cancer on Facebook. And so I messaged him and I made a comment like, I'm praying for you, Ron. Um, I, I'll just continue to keep you in our prayers. And then I'm gonna send him a private message. Wow, Ron, I didn't know that you had cancer. You've been struggling with that. Whatever it is, it, it might be chronic infections. It might be the flu. Um, I'm really sorry that you're going through that. And I know that I've lost half of my family to cancer. And I don't know if this might be something that helped you, but I have experienced some great health turnaround in my, in my life and in my mom's life when she had cancer. So I'm just going to bring up that conversation because I love Ron. I care about him. I see that he's going through that on Facebook. And I think I have something that could help him. So I led with love. And I said, man, I'm sorry that you're going through that, whatever it is, you know, I sympathize with him. And then I saw, well, Ron has a need. Maybe Juice Plus can help him. So I'm gonna give him just a little bit of experience of, you know, my mom took Juice Plus, maybe a little bit of background of what happened with my mom and how she made it through her treatments without being sick. And I'm gonna share that with Ron. 
And then I'm going to just lead into, I don't know if this would be for you, but I would love to share this with you. Um, and, and then leave it in his court. Now, I didn't go and throw up all over him and say, Ron, you have cancer, man. You really need this because Juice Plus says this and research shows this, right? I led with love. And Ron didn't feel offended at all. He felt truly heartfelt about me reaching out to him. And that's, that's the great thing about um, leading with love and just building those relationships. So everything that we've, we're going to be trading on, you know, last week, Jake trained on the big audacious goals. Um, and, and this week, leading with love. And, and from this day forward, we've all learned from Teamsy. And I don't know how many of you are Teamsy, actively using Teamsy. Anybody? A couple people in here? Okay. All right. Well, I know for me, I tend to get really busy and I mean to follow up with people and I've missed a lot of follow-ups. And that has probably hurt me more than anything. And so whatever you're looking at, and I don't know if you guys were at conference, but also at conference, they announced that the Juice Plus company and Teamsy will work together where Eric offered all Juice Plus distributors for $20 a month to, you know, to be a part of Team Z. I mean, to me, that is so cheap for what we get on Team Z. I can't even express the value in, in numbers. I really can't. Um, but the thing I like is that I've always looked for an organizational tool that would help me follow up with those customers like Ron. Now, now Ron, maybe he's got a lot going on, so he may not get back to me right away. But I need a reminder that I need to follow up with Ron in about a week to say, hey, Ron, I know that you're super busy. I don't know if you had a chance to look over that information, but would it be possible I could you know, do a call with you or just talk with you? Whatever it is. And the great thing about it is, is that I think a lot of us on this call, we maybe haven't followed up or followed through with some things because we just don't know what to say. And here's another great thing about Teamsy. They give you scripts of what to say. And obviously, yeah, you're going to tailor it to you or to that person. I'm going to tailor it to Ron who's got cancer. So I'm going to tailor that message a little bit. But he gives a ton of examples on there on follow-up one, two, three, and on down the line. And then if you become a customer, he gives a good um, examples of scripts of follow-ups. So that's what I've really appreciated too, because I know I've struggled in that and not knowing exactly what to say. But I think the most important thing too is that when you are leading with love, things will really start to flow from your heart because it, it is coming from the heart. And the person that's on the other end, they're going to see that. They're going to see that you're not all about numbers and wanting another sell. So, um, so actually, I have an assignment for everybody. And I don't know about you, but I maybe have, I wouldn't say burned a few bridges, but I've probably just vomited all over a few friends when I first started Juice Plus, thinking that everybody just needed it. Don't ask me about it. You just need it because I'm telling you, you need it, you know? And so I've had to go back and write some apologies to them about that because now I know better, right? Uh, and yeah, I was so excited in the, in the beginning, I'm still excited, but my approach is a lot different. So, um, so does everybody have a pen and paper in their hand? They can write down some, okay, awesome. So what I want you to do, I'm gonna give you one minute, and I would like you to write down at least four names of somebody maybe that you need to write, uh, to reach out to and apologize. And I'm gonna actually give you an example of what an apology looks like. So I'm going to set my timer and go ahead and start now. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. Everybody get a couple names written down? At least four? Okay. All right. So remember, we're all about relationships, right? Even when we're going to reach out and say, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to read an apology script that Eric had given us. And um, I just want to share it with you just to give you an example. Hi, Jane. I'm just reaching out to say hi, and I hope your day is awesome. That's one message. That's it. Or you could say, hi, Jane. I'm just reaching out. I was thinking about you. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. <clears throat> the next script is going to, or the next message is going to be, I also want to apologize if I came off a bit strong with my regards to my business. I was so excited about it. I worry that I may have gotten a bit carried away. The important thing for you to know is that a relationship means much more to me than whether you purchase anything from me in my business. My heart is to help people not push anything on them. And I want you to know if you need help with anything in your health or anything else, I'm here for you. Thanks. Now you can tailor that a little bit to reflect how you know them, how you came across, however it may be. But when it comes from your heart, people really do. I've had to send that script to some people and people were just like in shock. They were like, oh my goodness, I, I appreciate that so much. You don't know what that meant to me. Because I don't know about you guys, but I think we all get bombarded with people trying to sell us something, constantly inviting us to Facebook parties and this and this. Like just this week, this past week, I was invited to three different parties. And I kind of just felt overwhelmed. And like one of them, like truly I hadn't heard from her for a year. And yet I got a Facebook invite to her party. So I felt like, oh, this is perfect timing when I'm teaching on this or talking about this. But we all know how it feels. And so we also know how it can feel when somebody apologizes to us and we know it's coming from their heart. So when we're leading with love, we're making somebody's day. And just that apology can make somebody's day. And I can't tell you how many times and just reaching out to say, hey, Lynn, I was thinking about you. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. That people have responded to say, I, you can't believe what the most perfect timing that message came in today. Or you, that message just was perfect for me today. I really needed to hear that. And so there it is. It's building that relationship just in three sentences. And that's how simple it was. And then as we, you know, building those relationships, we're now looking to see if they have a need for Juice Plus and, and how can we help them with that need. So, and sometimes it's by just looking through Facebook. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hate Facebook. Um, and I've almost considered because of the position I do here on Fort Knox, I've, we've talked about almost taking down my Facebook page because I've had a few issues. Uh, so, but I haven't, and I just thought, you know, I'm gonna let God take care of that. But, but with that, I've started following people and I read through on some of their posts. And if I have thought about them, so Lynn was on my mind today, I'm going to go to his Facebook post, his page, and I'm going to see what he's been up to. Oh gosh, I see Lynn has been suffering with a lot of sinus infections. I've suffered with a lot of sinus infections. So I think I'll send him a message and I'll just send him a message on his regular Facebook and say, oh man, that really stinks. I know how you feel. I used to deal with those all the time. I hope you get better. And then I'm going to send him a private message and say, hey, Lynn, I see that you've been really suffering with sinus infections. I don't know if you know my story, but I suffered with sinus infections chronically. And I'm just going to go a little bit into that and say, you know, I can tell you what's helped me and what's worked for me. I would love to talk. Did I bring up Juice Plus? No. Okay. So it's building that relationship. And because I reached out, I think Lynn is going to see, I didn't mention anything yet. I'm just going to tell him what I did for me and what really helped and help, you know, bridge that gap for me. And so I'm going to educate, do some education a little bit, and then he's going to make an educated decision whether that's right for him. I didn't throw anything down his throat and I didn't make him feel like a number. So is this making sense with everybody? Right. Okay. Um, so I just want to leave you with the four or five names that you wrote down. I really challenge you to go ahead and write them an apology script and, and just, you know, say, 
just say what your heart means. And I'm really excited. I'd really like to see or, or comment in Team Ignite or, or whatever, but or the Voxer group, comment, because I'm really excited to see what responses you all got. I think you'll all be amazed. So, um, Jake, do we have a few minutes for questions? <laughs> 